Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> you're so really excited. Greetings, bro. It's the, you see hey. the intro that oh, they right, just showed. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's exciting. I've been seeing the intro for a while. I guess it's like, oh, yeah, that thing? I've had that forever. Yeah, we got an intro. We are a legitimate podcast. We actually have a real logo as well now. Is that all that was holding us back was the logo? Yeah, now we got the logo. It's all good. Holding us back from what? (laughs) Being a legitimate podcast. Uh, From from, from having a logo. greatness. (laughs) So welcome to The Patch. We got Gus, Bernie, Ryan, and Gus this week. How are you, internet? Double twice the Gus, twice the fun. There's a thousand things to talk about. I said on Twitter, I got to tell you that the way that they did the booth for Oculus Rift that I saw on the fourth floor of PAX was they had these white pylons, mm-hmm. basically, with four chairs around them. Uh-huh. And they would sit someone in it, and they'd lean back against the pole, so it's like four people, and they'd all put on the thing, and then they were all like sitting here doing that. And I watched varying uh-huh. levels of the demo where they were like putting the thing on them, talking about what's going to happen. Then when they had the thing on, there's someone that they're talking to them through the experience. Uh-huh. But all the people in the pods, four people per pod with these things on their heads like this, it was like it looked like the Matrix. You know what that looks like? It's like this is the first step of the Matrix. Was that scene from Minority Report where they're all doing the dreaming? Or? <laughs> yeah, I mean it was it was definitely different. What's to see funny that. is so I walked up and I saw that booth you're talking about, and I stood there and I looked at them and I thought, uh oh, that's okay. Mike, I really should try it. You I should. Thought, I was like it's right here. I should try it. It's and worth then, the pink eye. And then I saw the people doing that, like the whole Stevie Wonder thing. And then I hear about the pink eye thing now. No, I'm glad I did. Oh my god! I'm totally glad. Have you done any VR? Ever. You make me want to record the booth and like play Stevie Wonder over it. <laughs> 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 feel like some kind of battler. <laughs> Man, I would love to see that. Do you guys remember the old pterodactyl VR thing? That sounds really fucking familiar. Oh, that was like one of the early, early VR where they put the headset and you'd stand in one of those rings and then you could turn around. Yes. Yeah. And it was all you know, really like vector graphics. Yeah, yeah. But that was like one of the early, early VR. The other thing that I was thinking about earlier, you know, now that we have Oculus Rift, and Sony has now said that they may be getting in on the, the VR headset game. Oh, VR they? Oh, oh Jesus, where's the fuck? Did Barbara show up? Hey, oh. hey, hey, try the VL. I'll be here all week. <laughs> <laughs> the Xbox 360 app uses Kinect, so you can create the pizza you love using hand motions. Ooh. It's the pizza. Your controller or by voice command. And now for a limited time, Pizza Hut is upping your game by giving you a free Microsoft points every time you order through Pizza Hut Xbox 360 app. 